I'm going to show our final product here, which is consists of a launch pad and a Kinect in series with a Mac. You can see here, this is a mapping of our buttons. Each button does uh, play a, uh, an individual sample we have uh, preloaded into it. As you can hear here, the different samples we have on a row. And then if you press the entire row, it plays the track as it is meant to be heard. We also have uh, different tracks here, um, uh, as you can hear here. And we have some uh, beats buttons in order to introduce the, uh, the other uh, the tracks. We also have the connect. By, uh, as you can see here, we have the uh, connect and Launchpad connected to the uh, visual uh, part of the screen. Uh, you can see the left one just shows where my hand is tracked and my skeleton or my outline. And then we have the uh, live feed and we have the uh, Launchpad um, visualization. As you can see here, it shows which track is being played. So I don't have to look down at the Launchpad in, in order to, uh, to change the sound being played. Uh, I also have this uh, the hand tracker here. It's for uh, when I want to change the uh, the sound of it or the the speed of it. Um, uh, as you can hear, it changes the speed of when it's played. Um, I can play it uh, fast or slow. I can also change the volume in this side of it. As you can hear, you can almost not hear it anymore, and it gets louder and louder uh, as it gets up to one. Um, and then we also have a uh, beat a track to the hand, so if I move it quickly, it's going to play a sound that is also affected by the speed the and volume control. Rock to the rhythm, on I go. Rock to the rhythm, rock to the rhythm, rock to the rhythm.